I'm meeting somebody. Amazing. I think that's her. Be back. In your baby bag. Yeah, don't go by me. You want to watch your video in your bag? OK. Are you done? Oh, hi. Hello. The mysterious Josh. Nice Hello. to meet you. Mwah. Nice to meet you, too. What's this that? is Carl. He's my baby. He's watching his bird videos. I was going to say I've seen it all, but no. He likes it. Those are his friends. He's a good boy. Thanks for meeting me and Carl. Absolutely. Congratulations on the Diane Keaton house. Yes. I understand you have another house also that you need to I sell. I do. Okay, I'm getting out of Brentwood, and I'm coming to Beverly Hills. OK, I like that idea. Tell me a little bit more about this house that you have in Brentwood. I bought a house that I thought was going to be a rental. I ended up remodeling it, fixing it up. It's, it's got swag. I mean, look at me. What kind of renovations did you do? I redid all the kitchens and bathrooms. I redid the entire backyard. I added a bar room. I renovated the guest house. So I added square feet. Excuse me, Josh. I got to butter it. He likes Cat's it. supposed to eat butter and bread? Yeah. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. OK, so I understand that there's a buyer that's interested in your property in Brentwood. There is. Tracy mentioned she wants to put this in escrow with this particular buyer. Are you sure that's a good idea? Well, that's why you're here. So give me the terms of the potential offer. 7-9, if it went to the open market. Now this is some sort of deal that Tracy knows she has this buyer for. I still think we need to reach as high as possible. I mean, I just bought like a $16.5 million house. I have to do a little bit more research, but I think it really should be priced in that 8.3 to 8.5 range. You're going to do a hard negotiation for me? Yes. I know, and Tracy knows, that if this property was listed at 7995, it would get 10 offers. So I'm going to negotiate this deal as if it is on the open market. Buckle up, Buttercup. I was noticing today I was in your backyard. By the way, you have too much hardscaping back there. You need a little grass. Oh, he gets the invite to your backyard? I don't get to see your house yet? You think he's invited? Oh, you just show up? He so? just shows up. Do you like what you did with the house? <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty it's good. Okay. It's okay. It's good. What's up, Joshy? What's going on? What's going on with the, the divorce settlement? Didn't you have it? You were supposed to have it signed? Like... Yeah, we were supposed to have it signed. And then they go, no, we're not signing the deal. We're going to charge you a million dollars to sign an NDA. And I go, I'm sorry, what? You should be like, all right, forget the NDA. And just... Well, then I got to thinking. I was like, well, does this guy have sh on me that I don't know about or whatever? I was just like, Jesus. Listen, man, everybody we knows about you and your sh <laughs> And I drive by the house every day because the hotel is on the same street as <laughs> I have to I have to drive up. I literally see the car there all day long. So I'm like, what is this guy doing all day long? So I have something to tell you. I actually talked to Bobby yesterday. We were chatting about that he is at a new brokerage, which yeah. I love and I'm supportive of. And, you know, he's doing really well. I mean, obviously, we did not discuss your marriage. You seem annoyed. Great. This is exactly what I want to hear. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not the only one that's seen him. You guys saw him, too. <laughs> <laughs>